This is Karen with Hampton Team Paranormal, Carter County, Tennessee. I'm home alone by myself. Thought I seen a shadow go through the hallway. If you can see, like, to the very first right side of the hallway, there's a lot. And then to the second, to the back right there, there is another lot. And one, I think, goes to the bathroom, and then the other one's from out here in the living room. And I could have sworn I see now the corner of my eye a shadow. If you're back there, can you please uh, step back out again and show yourself? Don't be afraid. I'm here by myself. Feel free to make your presence known if you'd like. I think it's my daughter's fan that may be running. And then, of course, I've got my ceiling fan running, too. So, you might be able to see a little bit of um, dust and stuff like that. Hello? Can you make a noise somewhere? Make a noise where you're at. loud noise. Come on. You guys do this all the time. Well, not all the time, but sometimes. And there's been all kinds of little things just kind of falling over here and there. <coughs> Sorry, guys. That's me wheezing. Oh, okay. Well, this lot might be from my son's room. So let's go ahead and cut this one off. This is my son's room. Okay. I think you've all seen my house before. This is my restroom. Hello. Let me get this fan off. And this in here is my precious daughter's room. Which is definitely protected by her crosses. I'm going to go ahead and cut off her AC too. Which is also protected by a cross. This is the closet door that likes to, I guess you would say, open on its own. And then, of course, this door right here, it doesn't like to be closed, is what we was told by the spirit box. They don't like it closed. Now, that's me moving the fan. This is the fan that scooted across the floor. One day when my daughter was laying in here in her bed. And, uh, <clears throat> the day that we seen, um, a seven-foot shadow in the living room, we, uh, all gathered up together in the living room, and, you know, we all got to talking, and, you know, I just pretty much asked my daughter, you know, has anything strange been going on in your room? And she told us about this fan right there. <laughs> And she still leaves this closet door open like something tells her to leave it open or whatever. If you want me to open that closet, can you say, um, open as loud as you can? That's my dog walking through here. Wait until he gets still. Now, we weren't sure if there's any kind of negativity in my daughter's room. But, just to show you guys what my daughter's been through in the past good two years, I guess. If not less. Her most recent death in her family was of her cousin. His name was Jerry Potter. And then, of course, my, my father died. September 2013 my mother died in February 2014 her papa died I think it was last year let's see and then um, let's see who else did she have die hmm. she had several oh, she needs to clean her mirror for sure She's had several family members die, and the main, you know, other than her grandparents, of course, her her cousin Bubba was, you know, 
that seemed to be the hardest one for her to accept. Only because he was so young. And, um, <clears throat> you know, he had an illness that that he was born with. And, and it was just a very sad tragedy. Well, um, we got to noticing that my daughter likes to stay cooped up in this room. You know, we've been getting EVPs in here. Uh, she says she leaves the closet door open because she says that uh, she'd rather it be open than for it to open itself. So what that means, I'm not sure. My sister placed <laughs> crosses with Benadryl and tape on her closet door after we blessed her whole room. Um, but during the spirit box session, we did pick up a female and a male voice. And the voices was not a family descendant. So, um, the female actually kind of sounded like a um, little girl by the name of Elizabeth, is what she called herself. And then a male that refused to give us his name. Um, didn't really sound anything evil. And I've done a whole video in here and everything, but they knew her name. On the speaker box, uh, Elizabeth says that she's here to protect Maddie. Uh, since Elizabeth, though, would not give us the male's name, we had to banish them both from this room uh, because she would not participate. But um, we are doing a little bit of a study on PK uh, manifest manifestations, and I'm not sure if anybody knows what that that is. But it is poltergeist activity, which is actually caused by humans. It's actually caused by ourselves. And I think what might be happening is my daughter is experiencing um, anger issues, um, depressed and sad issues of all these deaths. And she's starting to create her own... Um, how would you say it? Um, <coughs> her own, um, her own entity, pretty much. You can create your own entity, which is a poltergeist, which can become an entity, of course, um, until you can at least try to take control of it. Now, we do definitely have um, what you call residual here. You know, like of the past homeowners and stuff like that. I mean, we do pick up what I think are them many times. But most of what I think is going on in Maddie's room that we noticed was, you know, the poltergeist activity. Okay? And this is my room. Okay? And me and my boyfriend, of course, are ghost hunters. So there are times we do bring entities home. Within a week or so, they go back to where they you know, come from most of the time. We've both been um, oppressed by what they call themselves as demons uh, in the past, and that's when we first started investigating. Uh, but, you know, most of the time we know how to handle that. But as far as a PK manifestation, <laughs> we're still learning about that. I do know that she needs to learn to portray her anger and... Um, her emotions a little bit better, you know, to be able to maintain this type of, you know, activity that goes on. Not to mention, I think she is a little sensitive because she said when the fan moved across the floor, it did not scare her. You know, she's 16 years old. She is in puberty, which is also, an, you know, another reason for a manifestation to occur um, or what they call poltergeist activity. They, they are attracted to um, people that are um, in puberty, having emotional distress, you know, all kinds of stuff. Um, but my daughter's very strong, and I think she can definitely fight this. Don't think it's evil, but, you know, then again, we're not really sure. So, of course, we got to take precautions by blessing the house and stuff. I don't know who the seven-foot figure would have been that we've seen right over there by the mirror. Um, because I don't think she has already created an entity. I just think she's close to possibly creating one. If anybody knows 
you know, anything about, you know, um, poltergeist and the PK manifestations, uh, please, you know, if you don't care, comment on this, uh, video. <coughs> Sorry, that was me wheezing. If there's anybody that wants to say anything or make a loud noise, can you please do it now? Anything you want to say to Madison or, or me or Josh? The only thing about the um the poltergeist activity i don't know if it's possible that two entities can be involved like if she did actually create an entity out of this i mean is it possible that two entities such as this so-called elizabeth and then the male one can they both can there be a good one there can there be a bad one you know that it's just stuff i'd like to know i will try and read up on that and see what i can figure out but if anybody knows anything Please feel free to comment on this video. I would greatly appreciate it. Okay, guys, I'm getting ready to wrap this up. So, if anybody has anything to say, please feel free to say it. When my parents died, I think my sister also um, started you know to create her own poltergeist but then she i think she realized what she was doing so she's got a, a little bit more control over it but i think my sister and my daughter both can move things with their mind sometimes and they just don't know that because really a lot of things don't really happen unless those two are here which is kind of strange and my daughter does take after my sister quite a bit so anyway like i said if anybody knows anything about that just let me know, please. If you hear anything on this, let me know. And that's pretty much all I've got to say for this video. Thank you very much. And this is my residence, by the way. And this is Karen with Hampton Team Paranormal. God bless and have a great weekend.